As part of the section called as Managing Tables, Basic DDL and DML, we will primarily focus on Basic DDL and DML using Spark Metastore. DDL stands for Data Definition Language and DML stands for Data Manipulation Language. DDL or Data Definition Language is primarily used to create the tables, drop the tables, etc. And DML, Data Manipulation Language, is primarily used to get the data into the tables or manipulate the data within the tables. That being said, we'll start with creating Spark Metastore tables. We'll understand some of the nuances uh, which we haven't covered earlier while creating the tables such as orders, order items, etc. Once we understand how to create Spark Metastore tables, then we will emphasize on data types. We'll get a high-level overview about all the data types and we will focus on some special data types also. Then we'll understand how to add comments both at column level as well as table level. Then we will see how to get files into the tables. We will also validate whether the files are copied properly or not. Then we'll actually talk about uh, external tables. So far we have created managed tables. There is a different type of table that is uh, supported by Spark Metastore. It is nothing but external tables and we'll focus on that as part of this creating external tables topic. Once we understand how to create external tables, we will see the differences between managed tables uh, and external tables. So far we have created uh, tables with text file format. Spark Metastore supports other file formats also. We'll try to get an overview about the supported file formats using Spark Metastore. Then we'll actually get into some basics related to dropping tables and databases as well as truncating tables. I'll be using Jupyter Hub to demonstrate using Apache Tori Scala kernel. For that, I have to create a Spark object. Once the Spark object is created, I can use magic commands such as percentage, percentage SQL, and I should be able to write any SQL query here. However, if you are preparing for CCI 175 certification exam, Instead of using Spark SQL or Jupyter Hub, make sure you launch Spark Shell or PySpark using this uh, or these commands, and then uh, enclose all these queries which I'm demonstrating here with the Spark.SQL, and then invoke the Spark.SQL function which will actually perform the task you are looking for. If at all you, you want to preview the data after running a query, you have to use the dot .show, and you can actually see the results also. So I will be emphasizing on some of those aspects as and when it is required. But in general, I will be demonstrating using uh, Jupyter Hub with Spark SQL magic command. However, if you are aspiring for CCA 175 certification exam, then you have to launch Spark Shell or PySpark and then practice using that interface so that you are comfortable in writing uh, Spark SQL queries using uh, Spark Shell or PySpark, which will be provided to you while taking the exam.